Celebrating 40 years in the Makanda region in collaboration with Rhodes University, this program is meant to encourage learners to be innovative and come up with solutions for societal issues. This was a way to celebrate the fact that our students in schools are capable of investigating science questions. A lot of it is community driven. You look in your home environment and you see what would you like to change? What can make an impact? How can I improve what is in my space? And through a process of scientific thought and reasoning, learners are taught how to do an investigation project. One of the strategic aims of the science engagement strategy is to popularize science and technology and to make it relatable and exciting for learners. And the main idea behind it is so that we can uh, encourage and inspire learners to study or to focus on careers in science and engineering. Now what we get to do with the ESCOM Expo is to, for young scientists, is to get the learners to look at their environment, see what problems are there in their environment, and look at ways to solve, or at least to understand those problems. Learners from different schools showcased their projects, aiming to impress the judges. Uh, my project is about um, a robot that can go into the real world um, and completely on its own um, collect trash, like plastic waste for example, and then um, use it to um, and melt it to uh, fill the bottles in our road. So my project is testing and comparing the effect of regular versus organic sunscreen on the ability of Rhabdosaurus halubi to reach their endpoint. So basically, I'm testing if different sunscreens affect the ability of these fish to reach their endpoint. Um, looking at environmental DNA and how it actually works. So what environmental DNA is, is DNA that is expelled by organisms in their environment. And essentially what my project was looking at was if you can take an environmental sample and extract this DNA to see whether or not you can detect the organisms or species within those locations. The Department of Education in the Eastern Cape and Rhodes University play a vital role in assisting these learners. As a Department of Education, we assist with funding to transport these learners. For an example, last year we made sure that all our learners in excess of 250, because there were 256, we made them to fly to Joburg because we didn't want this disparity that normally happens at times where you find that those learners that are coming from the previously disadvantaged environments ends up zone as Yambange takes Yoganyege Pass because as they arrive in Jobek at a national level, they arrive there being tired and the like and the opportunities or possibilities for them which is based away now become very limited. The Rhodes University plays uh, an extremely important role uh, in the ESCOM Science Expo one, we actually organize in this region and we host uh, the competition. And secondly, we have staff and students of Rhodes University who play an important role as judges of the projects that uh, are on display here. But perhaps more important, we provide bursaries for these young people who do some absolutely fantastic work to come to Rhodes University to pursue their studies in science. The Science Expo Regional Competition is set to continue in Kabecha, East London and Mtata this August before the national and international competition. Sinetemba Witi, SABC News, Makanda.